Greetings, Commander. My name is Natik Hayawan, a member of the Noble House of Battle Pangolins. As you know, I was sent by the Queen to guide you through the world of the Dragoness, Command of the Flame. Today we'll be learning about revival spells, the Commander's Spellbook, and artifacts. That brief skirmish with the Shai Va that we encountered on the road to the capital has unfortunately rendered you, well, dead, Commander. But while your corporeal shell has been destroyed, your soul lingers on. This mysterious affliction seems to be affecting many throughout the kingdom, but we have been unable to identify its source. Lucky for you, our noble queen knows a spell which will return you to your physical form, at least for a short time. With the help of our newly constructed magic amplifier, you'll be able to choose from up to three different revival spells whenever you return to the capital. Each revival spell has its own unique combination of talents, skills, and end of turn bonuses. They will also dictate your base resource capacity, movement points, and mana pool. Talents lie at the core of every revival spell and can dramatically influence your strategy during a quest. Some talents will enhance the combat effectiveness of particular units, while others will improve the commander's maneuverability and spellcasting. Skills can provide additional improvements to your army, but perhaps more importantly, will determine which combat spells you will initially take into the field. End of turn bonuses are triggered at the end of each turn during a quest. These bonuses can range from gaining additional resources and movement points to health and mana regeneration. Remember that any time you return to the capital, whether that be in victory or defeat, the choice of revival spells available will change, so you'll always have new options to pick from. As a formidable magic user, the commander has access to an extensive spellbook which will develop during a quest as she gains experience. The spellbook can be broken down into six distinct schools of magic, these being necromancy, stealth, Restoration, Maneuvers, Field Impact, and Strength. During battle, the commander can cast spells using her mana pool to great advantage. Strength spells will bolster your army's offensive capabilities. Maneuvers will aid and hamper the movement of individual units. And Restoration will heal even the most grievous of wounds. Victory in battle will grant experience, which will eventually allow the commander to level up. Gaining a level means that the commander can improve her skills further and develop her knowledge of each magic school. Experience can also be gained by visiting specific sites of interest on the map, such as universities, or by completing certain side quests. In addition to spells and skills, the commander can also collect, craft, and equip a wide variety of artifacts to aid her in her quest. These ancient and powerful items can be obtained by defeating powerful enemies, looting treasure troves, and recruiting the services of a skilled blacksmith. Like skills, artifacts will provide both the commander and her army with additional bonuses such as increased attack power, movement points, mana, and more. You can equip up to three artifacts at any one time and can freely swap these around whenever you see fit. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson, Commander. And remember, if you're ever struggling to complete a quest, you can always try another revival spell, study a different magic school, or experiment with a different set of artifacts. Until next time!